Hi, welcome to Country Crop Creation. So I've already started on the barn. Um, one reason I went ahead and started is um, actually <laughs> the the camera, I don't know what happened. And I was just going along and realized we're not even filming. So we're going to get started on our barn tutorial. So if you purchase the barn, uh, this is what's on the website under Project Kits is our winter barn. And a couple of things about the barn kit. You'll have these little windows that you will punch out. And in the first video, I did punch them out. They come on two little cards like this, and you just punch them out. They will be a little to be stuck on the ends, but you'll just uh, you just work it out. And then I take a fingernail file and I file those rough edges over. Um, you'll have your two barn pieces, and again. Um, these were made for the beginning chipboard crafter. If you're wanting to learn how to make these chipboard elements, which are so great, 3D projects, but you're want, not wanting to uh, use the strips, or maybe you don't know how, this is a great beginner product project. Inside of the, the barn kit, if you received it, is the corrugated cardboard. We will be using a square bottle, so we will you will need a square bottle when we get to that point. And you will have a base. Now, I know one or two kits accidentally got sent without the base. If you did not receive a base, please contact me immediately at countrycraftcreations.com or you, our phone number is on the website and I'll be glad to, to send you one. Then you'll have six sheets of the Simple Stories Birch White Grid Barn Paper. It's so wonderful. And then we have these other small pieces that go on the top of the barn. And this piece is also on the top of the barn. It's our little roof that will come together. Um, like I mentioned, with the barn white, I had already started painting, but I need to go back over now. So you'll want to paint all of these barn windows, barn door pieces. And remember, this is a barn. So they can be as perfect or imperfect as you like. Um, I, I have some spots here now. Hopefully, I'm watching, okay, watching my video screen. Um, I don't want this video to not work this time. But when I was talking about this being a beginner piece, when I contacted Pam, who does all the cutting for our chipboard, because their company is absolutely fabulous, Heart of Texas Studios. Pam and her husband do the cutting. I told her I want a barn, and I had a barn in my mind, and I sent her pictures. And she said, sure, we can do that. But one thing I didn't want was a project that was going to take me weeks to complete. I wanted this for Christmas. I wanted to put the, the little lights inside my barn. Now, the barn is open in the back, so you can add your lights. You can add a light that is on a cord. But the main thing also was I knew people wanted to take these to crops or beginners. And you don't want a project that's going to take you weeks or even months. You'll lose interest. It will go up in the closet. And you're not going to take it down and finish it. I know. It's like dieting. You want instant results. So this cute little project is going to help give you that. But it's going to still look like you spent a lot of time on it. So I just checked my barn pieces now. So those windows now can sit aside and dry. If you did purchase the add-on decorating kit, you would you would have received the white paint, but you can use any white paint that you like. I'm going to wrap this little brush because I don't want it to dry out. This is just a wet white. I dry some of them out and I use them wet also. That's going to keep my brush moist. But I want a bigger brush. We're going to be painting the base and also this thinner chipboard. So you're, it's just a thin chipboard. And we're going to want to, um, we want to paint it. And you'll notice when it comes together, you'll have a piece there that we'll trim off. But you don't want to um, get it super wet. We are going to be covering it also with snow if you want. So we're just going to basically do somewhat of a dry brush because this is paper. It's not um, the heavier chipboard like our windows. And we want to get two coats on, two lightweight coats. 
and then it will also be covered with snow. This will also help the snow if you did purchase. Now, if not, I will let you know. You can use the Aileen snow or any snow you want. Okay. Remember, just don't get your brush super wet. I do prefer to paint this before I put it together. Like I said, it doesn't look great because it doesn't need to. You're not going to see it with all the snow. Okay. Now that can be set aside to dry. The next thing we want to paint, so there's just two things. Let's get some things out of the way, but I still need my blob of paint right here is the base. Now on the base, let me go ahead and grab a piece of even cardstock to set it on because I like to be able to pick it up and move it so it can sit on the side and dry. You don't have to paint the bottom, but you can. This will take a little bit more paint. The reason we do want to paint it, even though there'll, there'll be, there will be snow along the edge, you will see inside your barn at this point. And I like my edges to be painted. And don't worry, you can go back and get in the second coat. on your edges if you need to. Because we're not working with wood, we don't want to really saturate it. Okay. So I'll just put it down and paint the inside. So this is a project, it packs very simple, very easy because it's flat. You can take it with you, of course, when you bring it home, if you take it to a crop, it will be 3D. So at that point, you'll need to be able to carry it home. But um, great project to take to a crop because you can complete this, you know, in a day or a weekend. I'm going to need some more paint. Now you can just put it right on your board. But it'll, it's a fun project that you can take and you know you get it done. Get rid of some of these brush marks. So it'll go lightly. And it dries really fast on chipboard. But if we get all of our painting done first, then it'll be ready when we're ready to put the barn on. Now, if you are very experienced to using chipboard, you can, especially when you adhere this bottom, add strips. I'm going to show you how not to. Very simple. You were just going to be putting the barn on. Okay, let's make sure it's not too stuck. There goes the keyboard. Okay, I'm going to set this one aside. And it can dry. Clean my brushes. We'll be back to do the barn. Okay, let's get started. Let's grab the first piece of, um, of your paper, your barn, doesn't matter which one. Um, 
if you're going to do the back first, front, it, does, it doesn't matter. The main thing is, let's turn this over on the grid side, which makes it so nice. We are going to fold this piece over. I just put this down at the bottom. Okay, your barn will seem a little off, but it's not. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna use that grid and just kind of ignore that piece. And then using our pencil, which I always mean to grab beforehand, and I'm just going in between. Don't worry about tracing out your tabs. Okay, I'm just drawing across the bottom. Did not realize I'm and up the sides like so. Now you can use your cutter because I end up. I'm gonna do just a little bit of sanding with a fingernail file or a sanding block. I'm just going to cut fairly on the inside, like so, of my pencil marks. You have enough paper if you want to paper the inside of your barn. My original one, I did paper the inside, and then I realized there's no need to paper the inside. Let me grab it here. You really, well, you can if you are going to look all the way inside, but you don't have to. It's totally up to you if you want to paper the inside of your barn. So you have enough paper for that. You can also paint the inside of your barn. You can paper it or you can leave it. Now, we have this other little piece. See, this is the thing. You, you do come out with, with, a, with some, but not enough. So for this little guy, this one's really easy. We don't even have to trace it. And, excuse me, I have a new puppy, and I have to go let him out. I apologize for that. <laughs> some of you know we have a new puppy, a new beagle, and it's Wilbur. He had a potty. He just woke up, and I looked over, and I thought, we better get him out the door. He's only nine weeks old. Okay, for this piece, let me show you. This is going to bend. And you want to work it very just gently. This is what's going to attach to the other side. So you don't have to, in fact, you don't want to. There we go. See, you'll get a rough edge. That's okay because we have that barn look, but you don't want to cover it. It's four and a half by six. So with my cutter, let me grab another piece. And I'm not even matching because the barn looks great. However, I'm going to cut it four and a half by six. And cut it just a hair shorter, four and a half, but not, but not too much. I don't know why I always cut mine a little off. Oh, wait a minute. Because I think I grabbed the wrong piece. I... I did.
Now, you do have a knock if you make mistakes. I'm raising them. I always manage to do that. So what I did is I cut it mine. Oh, I know what's happened here. Okay. This is driving me crazy. Oh, this. Okay, what I'm going to do on mine. I actually just cut that one hat second piece just longer. I'm going to leave it that way for right now until we're ready to put it on. And the other piece can go on the inside if you want to do your inside. So let's set that aside. And we want to just lay our barn down after we cut it and check our sizing. And you may just have a hair bit more on that side, but we're going to do our cutting with a straight edge because it's too hard to get it absolutely perfect on a project like this. And you can ink your edges on this if you like. I didn't because you're actually not going to see that with the, when we add on the snow and we glue this to the top. And I'm just using my art glue. It works really great on these kind of projects. And you do want to put it on the chipboard itself. You can't really put it on the paper because you don't know exactly where these openings are. And you're going to use more than if you had used, of course, on your albums or projects like that. Okay, once you have it on, I don't, I don't uh, smear it around because I'm going to do that with my spatula. I'm going to lay this down. Make sure everything's quite even. Have a, a dry white. This one's got some red from a different project. And if you have any showing here, don't fret. Your, your roof and your snow is going to cover that. Turn this over, and the best thing to use is one of our plastic, not ours, but I mean a plastic scraper from the hardware store. You can pick these up at all hardware stores. They're the just plastic, not metal. So much better than the roller type. Because you can um, really spread that glue. It's kind of like wallpapering. Okay. We're not going to go back and do any cutting yet. We want we want it to dry somewhat. And grab your next piece. This you do want to check a little bit more. First of all, decide. Which side, of course, you want your your wood to be on to match. Again, you'll have some hangover, but we're going to be cutting that with our straight edge blade. Now remember, you've got that half inch right on the end edge there. Go around those windows.
deciding which edge is going to go up against the back of the barn piece. Now open it because you're going to, you will have that crease there. And again, you can dry brush that with some white paint. I left it. It looks really good. It blends, it'll blend in very nicely. Now you'll notice this has a little different fit. It mean it's not like perfectly straight on there. That's why I'm holding it up to fit my paper on. And it's because it's the way you'll see when the two pieces come together. And the glue squished out, just clean it up. I love this part where it looks like the cracking paint. Can you get your edges? Okay, we're going we're just gonna set this one aside to dry. We need to now do the next piece. And do start with a new piece of paper. Now the grids on the back bottom here are really helpful. know it's that straight line so we're good you can take a cutter if you'd like I don't have my small one handy so I'm just going to hand cut just barely on the inside of my pencil marks to get rid of them And again, we have the four and a half by six inch piece, which I, I'm not understanding why these guys aren't fitting. So I have two extras, but they'd be they'll be fine for the inside. And I have a puppy dragging this huge toy into the basement. So if you hear the clanking noise. That's him. You're going to hear it in the background. All right. So I did go ahead and cut these. Just I cut them over six, almost six and an eighth. I'm going to be trimming mine, but I like that better. Okay. So we're going to put the front on just like we did our back side. Um, one thing is to always match this top your peak okay because this bottom will trim plus again it's going to be on the base you're, and if you're using snow you'll be covering it up with snow so we're just going to trace our outline go a little bit heavier then let's go around our windows because when we're cutting them out, it's going to be a lot nicer that the paper is down. But you'll be 
be smearing it in there so the paper will get covered on all sides. Don't forget we're going to be covering this with our chipboard frame so if there is any little errors the nice thing is it will be hidden. This is such a fun forgiving project and an easy one. I know we all like those projects at time that times that challenge us, but when we're just learning, we don't want that big of a challenge <laughs> usually. And I'm thinking this is perfect because you can do this. some glue and it's time for a new dry wipe. Now the diaper wipes, I take them and dry them out. I dry out quite a few of them at a time because they're wonderful to use. I can keep reusing them and reusing them until they get to that point where they're a mess. Okay, again, just like we're wallpapering, let's get that glue smeared in. Corners down, edges down. Now we can put this side on. Okay, on this one, let's just gently, gently work it. And there we go. Now this one I've got the crackly side, so I'll go ahead and match the crackling up. And if you have this paper, you'll know what I mean. It looks like the paint is being peeled off. Let's go ahead and get that all moved out. Okay, we set that aside to dry and grab the other one. Now, this, I really like this, but if you have any kind of a craft knife, it's great and it will work. Um, I do need to, I need to just cut the tip of this. I need to change the blade, basically, so. And I'm just doing it over the garbage can. Okay, what we're going to do is we're just going to cut this out. Now the back does not have a frame. And I'm just going to go a little bit slow. And I'm not pushing super hard, okay? You may not get it all at the one time. You don't want to grab your paper and rip it. So punch, kind of like punch in the center. Lightly pull down. And if there's any wet glue, you'll just have to wipe it off. Sometimes you'll have a little bit in the corners. Poke down. I just push into the corner on the paper. And if it 
punches out easy, we're good. If it doesn't, see, sometimes you have to help the corners. Don't grab it and pull or you'll rip it and then you'll be sad. All right, what did the puppy just do? Hmm. Something fell. Now what we'll do is we'll go through now let me show you, if you're using your file, always go down, don't go up, you'll rip that paper off. Okay, on your file, don't go up because you don't want to drag it across that edge of the paper, just go down. And it's usually in those corners. And this, this will blend it somewhat into your chipboard. And I'll smooth those right out. Now, pull, I mean, turn it over. See, we've got some edges here. So I'm just going to clean up that edge. And then once again, if you have any roughness, like I said, it will be hidden on the base. Right here, also. Yep. See, mine's a little bit um, loose there. So I'm going to grab my art glue. And then I'm going to take any of the excess over by folding it over and you'll get your edge there. Let's furnish that down really well. We're not going to do any sanding yet. Check both sides, this side and this side. Mine look fine. There's nothing sticking out too far. I do have some here at the top, and then we'll do our windows. So again, push down with your knife so it engages. And if it's nice and sharp, you'll see how quick it'll just come up with a little bit of a with a little bit of pressure. Give me that. Sorry, having a puppy. I'm <clears throat> after not having a puppy in in years. You take everything out of their mouth. <laughs> and now I have to be careful. I don't have everything on the floor here in the studio. He's going to be a good puppy, though. All right. Clean off your blade if you have to. We're going to do our windows. Remember, just go slow. We're not in a hurry, but we will have frames that will cover these if you do make any errors. Because it won't come out. Easily. The top isn't quite quite loose. Okay. Now 
can't go in with my file or sandpaper. Do you hear him in the background? I don't want to go up against my paper. Now, on this side, so you can bring this little half inch flat back. Don't force it back a lot because you want it up, but you can clean up that edge this way. Like so. And we can do any edge cleaning that you want to do. Now you'll notice how rough that looks in there. I think it looks awesome on a barn. Some projects, of course, I wouldn't. But this looks great on the barn. Now we can go ahead and add, tip these back. This is what's going to attach our roof. Do you hear the paper in the background yet? Yeah, that's the puppy tearing papers up. Okay, now on the back, if you're going to cover this with your acrylic, I'll grab a couple of things. You don't want, I can get a smaller piece of that. You don't want to cover the whole thing. You're going to want to be able to get your hand in there. Okay. So you can put your lights. What he's doing is, this puppy's going around the room on our boxes that um, have been delivered and he's pulling out the packing material. So I'll just cover this halfway, and I'm going to use spore tape. And let's grab our well, that's three eighths of an inch, quarter inch on this project is okay. <clears throat> Here. So remember, you want to slip your hand in, but you don't have to put any acrylic if you don't want to. Now, one thing I want to show you, if you do purchase the acrylic sheets, we have the 4x6 by Art Glitter Glue, um, and you'll want your eighth of an inch corte. Of course, it's not as wide, but whether you use that one or this one, there is a protective coating. It can be hard to get a hold of. This one's kind of easy. What I do is I take my razor blade and just scratch that corner that I know will be hidden. Okay, because it can be a real booger. And I've already gotten this one started, so I'm going to go from this edge. other side. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear him barking. But... All right, because I'm not having much. I'm thinking I already took it off this edge. Where's my grid here? Okay. And I will cut that excess. <clears throat> Clean that up. Then we have that nice acrylic window. Okay. 
All right. Just real quickly, because I know this is not what you came for, but this is the little monster with the adorable little face upside down who is causing so much trouble during the video. And when we're going down, actually, here's his picture so you can see him. He is adorable, but for some reason, he's decided to be a little obnoxious tonight during this filming. <laughs> see these little windows? Again, we, we're going to cover them the same way. Um, you can do them both together. I just like to do them separate. And I just hand cut my little squares like so. Like I said, you don't even have to do this. They can be a pain. But I want, I have to do this at this point because if that's the other thing. It's very difficult to do once you get your um, oh goodness, once you get your walls put together here. The only thing when you purchase this, see there's not an instruction sheet with any of the companies. And every single one of them has that, but you'd think they would put a tab there to make it easier for us. But no. Yeah, sometimes on your chipboard you're gonna have to burn it you have to burnish that down extra good. And then I just keep one of those micro cloths down here. So, if, you know, it's kind of hit and miss, because if you don't put the acrylic on there, you're probably not even going to notice. Okay, now our front of the barn. Now this one, we're going to cut these out the exact same way. And if you start feeling your blade getting dull because maybe it's gummed up, over the garbage again so let me get that cut taken care of you want to keep your blade nice and sharp I'm pushing too hard. I'm starting to drag the paper.
but my frames will cover that and it's it's okay clean that up For some reason it's dragging there i don't even really think it's a blade and check and see if the bottom needs to be trimmed and of course your top and then this side piece making sure it's down make sure yep looks like everything is down but I'll go ahead and get this trimmed Continue with our windows. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and get the bottom of this. Okay, back to cutting our frames. Remember, I have to keep telling myself, don't try and cut it all in one pass. Better to do it a couple of passes so we don't tear up our chipboard or the paper. Okay, let's see if we can pop them out. If not, oh, it's like Grand Central Station this evening. The dogs are here in the studio with me, so. Sometimes they're very noisy. Remember, don't pull <clears throat> if it doesn't want to come out. All right. Done with that for now. now let's go ahead and just clean up our edges if need be. I mean, really, don't get super crazy because your window will sit. But I still like to do a little cleaning. Oh, I love the puppy out. Okay. 
for these windows. So I'm kind of working. I have some leftover pieces of my larger. So I am going to do this all in one. I'll show you. If you decide to do that, we do have the 12 by 12 sheets. The only thing you want to make sure is that you do put your glue, I mean not glue, but your tape close to the window edge. Ah, let me grab another roll. If I can get hold of it. On the edges, otherwise it won't lay flat if you're using the acrylic sheet. Back off that in just a moment. hard to tell what side that covering is on. Which some don't know why it's that way. Then I put it down, cut the excess it's so much easier than doing window by window. Okay, then for our back piece, we can do somewhat the same thing. You can break it up. And then, <clears throat> but if you have a piece large enough, You can actually get the whole thing in, possibly. And I do like this American Crafts one. It's the only thing from American Crafts so far that we purchased. Um, it, it's nice and heavy. I do like my the art glitter glue four by six sheets. They're convenient, and they are also a nice weight. Like I said, this isn't cut perfect. You can cut it with your your cutter if you want more perfection, straight edges. But nobody will see it. Put those aside. have our score tape and I'll have to use my eighth of an inch at the bottom now that's going to be close enough to my barn door inch there and then our one eighth of an inch and actually you can use one eighth of an inch this whole amount if you don't want to use your 
quarter inch score tape. Remove all of the backing. So as you're making this, I can guarantee you're probably thinking of all the possibilities and all the cute things oh, you can do and put in the window. Well, that didn't stick down very well. So I have to redo that one. Okay, I put one across the bottom. Really, that's not too bad at all. Yeah, I'm just going to add it a little extra length here since it's going that full length. Push that down really well this time. There we go. I did not mean to let it go, but that's where it's going. Uh, we made it. We got the corner. That score tape grabbed it. Wow. Okay. Let's just trim it up since I got it over here just a little close to that edge. Get it off of that edge so I can... Well, the puppy just got a hold of <clears throat> some of my cards. I can truly say my puppy ate my craft board. And now he's going to cry. He wants his Graphic 45 back. <laughs> Now, at this point, you need to decide, are you going to cover the back? Okay, if you are, you have plenty of pieces. And these ones that were too short, you can go ahead and go in and cover it. Now, if you choose not to, let me show you. Um, you will see when you're putting your barn together. And as you can see now, it's a good size barn. When you see inside, you will see that unfinished wood. So that's why, you know, I say it's totally up to you. Um, otherwise, we've already got, I already have these pieces cut. So let's go ahead and let's put these down. We'll just need to retrace the front. And it's really not going to stick onto there, so... Oh, I just did something really stupid. Okay. You don't want to do this because... Oh, okay. Remember in the beginning when I talked to you, I need to put a disclaimer. I had mentioned about not putting the papers on. Yeah, we should have done that first before we put the acrylic and because I don't have another barn to do, let's see. I need to make sure I put a disclaimer in here. Do not put the acrylic windows on until you are ready because now I can't, I can't cut them out. So <clears throat> we will move on. Ignore that. So if you are going to cover the inside of your barn, Please do not put the acrylic there. I always make one major mistake because I had it in my head. I was not going to do the inside of this one. Um, you have to put the front and the back on first and then your acrylic sheets just like this. Okay. 
um, they will be sitting on the outside. You can't even tell. But you have to cover the inside, then put your acrylic sheets on. So that, that's my screw up. Okay, disclaimers there. Please do not do what I just did if you are planning on papering the inside of your barn. If you are not, we are going to take one tap. It won't matter. This is the back. And I'm going to add my art glitter glue to that half inch tab. Okay. We are now going to attach it. Ugh. You know, it never fails. We are going to attach it now to our side. Now for this, your clothespins will come in handy. And I'll show it to you in just a moment. We're going to do both sides. Okay, so what I have done is I've just attached it right there. We're going to just let that glue on its side. So now you have this half inch that will now attach to this side. Now, again, let's get our clothespins on there. Our glitter glue does a really good job at holding this. And we want to make sure things are quite level. So remove this bottom. And the other side stands up great. And you can add your clothespins back on. Now, for, yeah, it's going to kind of go off to the side. Let's, I'm seeing if my base is dry. And it is. Again, you might need to, or you might want to, paint the back side. For the purpose of the video right now, I'm not going to. We're going to get this put on. I'm going to leave my top clothespins in and I'll take off the bottom. Now for this part, you can use, this is where I mentioned about using strips, but this barn is not really made for that. This is just made to be adhered, adhered, glued down. You can use your art glitter glue and your art glitter glue See, it will hold this barn. I'm not quite in camera, but it will hold it. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know, one of these days we'll get through. And there'll be, like, no mistakes. And it'll be great. Now, like I said, you can see the barn. So... If you did this like me, I would personally peel it off because this will come off actually really easy and then you can paper the front just like we did the rest. But I'm going to leave it so the video doesn't go, come out to be four hours long. Now this is a little touchy and a little tricky and it'll take, you know, a little patience here. So we're going to add our art glue all along this edge. Don't worry if it spills over onto the paper or the inside, we'll wipe it up, plus snow will be covering it. I mean, but don't let it run down like this is starting to on the paper. I'm going to get glue on that microplot. Okay. Now tip it over. 
to center it where you're wanting it to be. Okay, if you may want more in the front, more in the back. Your barn is going to bow in a little bit. Just push it out. There we go, and hold it down for a moment. On each side. Push it out. Recenter it. And then you can also lift it up. I'm just lifting up here to get more glue. It's a very forgiving project. Okay. I'm going to add some more art glue down here. We're going to let that sit for just a moment. And I'm actually going to just send a text real quick. Um, to the upstairs <laughs> to let them know that Wilbur needs to go upstairs and play with some humans. Because he's just like a toddler at nine weeks. I'm not paying attention and he's getting into everything. Okay. And then those tabs over. Like I said, your art glitter glue will dry fast. It's fabulous. Now these tabs, this is what our roof. So please don't bend those down too far or break them. And as you can see, your roof's not going to fit yet. So we're going to set this aside to dry. And we're going to get our squirt bottles. So you're going to need some type of a squirt bottle or a mister. And we'll, we will get this wet and take care of the top. Okay, I have this really neat mister bottle. It comes when we get our eyeglass. It was a cleaner. I emptied it out. So let me grab a rag. What we're going to do is we're going to spray the chipboard. So you'll want to protect your surface if you need to. Maybe a towel underneath would be great. Um, we're just going to mist it. See how there's a light mist? Okay. You don't want it to be too wet. Let's just mist it here. Now let's go ahead and peel a corner. Now, at this point, you can spray and peel. Spray and peel. Now, see how it's going to leave some? And i that's what I want. Spray and peel. Because I want it to look like an old weathered barn with snow. Let me show you. So you can see those areas. Some of it will show through. Some won't. Okay, now let's go to this corner where it's already a little wet. And this one, now we'll just work, yeah, work that right across. Leave as much or as little as you want. Now, you can bend this without filling it. Just keep missing. Um, we're going to actually mist it a little bit more when we go to bend it. garbage. I'm going to start back over on this corner. Let's get it started here. Okay, 
Now, you can go through. I wouldn't, um, I mean, it's up to you if you want to take more of that off. You can. You just want to get it wet and fill it. Uh, we are going to cover it with snow. And I personally, I like that. Now, I'm just going to tip it up. We're going to get it wet again all over. Not super. So you don't want a heavy-duty spray bottle. And we're going to bend it. Now, it might crack. Mine did on my first one. Okay. Now, okay, mine tore, and that's, it's okay. We're going to cover it in snow. It doesn't even show. And as it dries, too, it'll settle more. So we can now somewhat bring it to our barn and get our shape. So I'm just laying it on top for now because I want to show you. Push it right down on the middle. Don't be afraid to push it. I mean, I'm not pushing super hard. There we go. I want to get that over there a little bit. That uh, that broken part isn't going to matter. Don't worry. You're going to have some places that will crack. feel like it breaks. Okay, now. I'm going to just set this aside because putting it on wet, I found, was not the best thing to do. So we're going to set that aside and let it dry some wipes. Now we can go ahead and we can add our windows and our doors, our frames. And same thing again. We should have, you can also do this before you put it together. I'm just going to use my art glue. Fine tip makes it so nice. Now make sure you do get your art glitter glue purchased because winter is on its way. I know it's getting pretty cold in Utah and they're not shipping it to me. Now the problem with shipping it, they have to ship it in special containers, which costs more. And they have to be insulated so it doesn't freeze. Okay. So we have that down. I'm going to just kind of work on it upside down. We will be attaching all of our window frames just like the same way we just did that door. So I'm going to turn it over. And I know you won't see see it straight on. Just take your adhesive. Oh, we don't need to do the cross frame. What am I thinking? I'm sorry, because it doesn't attach to anything. Just do the outer frame. That's right. It's not going to attach to that center. You're probably already saying, why did you do that? <laughs> well, because... <laughs> of our frames and yeah you definitely can do this before you put it on that's not going to move 
so I have a little bit of the overhang showing so I can either put a wreath in that window I can put snow you can get some birds all kinds of cute things to go on your barns You know, this art glitter glue just never, it's just wonderful. Never fails to amaze me at how wonderful it works. Okay, you have your side windows also. And we're just attaching those the exact same way. Push them down for a second so that they adhere to the paper. Now I make sure, there we go, I'm cutting those edges. Now on these side windows too, if you don't want to hold it, oh, I guess they won't. I was hoping those would fit down in there. They won't, but, so we'll just have to hold it for a second. And there's not one for the back. Okay, easy as that, and your windows are on. Really changes that, doesn't it? Okay, now, this shouldn't be too wet. And here's what we're going to do. First of all, you want to check your overhang front and back to make sure it is the overhang that you want. And you can have a little more in front, a little more in the back, or you can have it pretty even. But we are going to add our art glue to these tabs. Then I'm going to go up this edge. And I'm working a little quick. Remember, if there's if it starts running down your paper with the art glue, just go ahead and um, wipe it off, but you won't see it with the snow. But you still don't want it to run down. Go ahead and get your sides. Now for the barn roof like this, there's not really anything you can do with strips. Now um, also. Sandy, I always say her name wrong, Tref Trefiger, also from uh, Graphic 45, is going to be doing this barn tutorial. And um, that will be the first part of December, and she will be doing a much better job than me, I promise. And then, as I'm going, I will just clean it up against my wood. And hold it for a few minutes. And some of your glue will already dry. Okay, there it's okay because we're going to be adding more. So I'm just going to sit there and hold this for a minute and let it mold.
and you may have to add more. And that's okay. This is just like our starter level. I mean, our, you know, to get the first glue on there, we'll be adding just a hair more. And that's why you don't want this roof to be wet. Just kind of looking around to see. Just hold it. And this we just have to hold. There's nothing we can do. But as you're holding it, you're able to mold it. And then you can just add some glue where you feel you need. And we'll just keep holding it for a moment. And we'll hold both sides. All right, once you feel it's gotten, you know, it's taken hold, let's go to the front. And I am going to add more art glue. I'm going to do the same thing here. Now on mine, I have a little more overhang on the back than the front. Now your sides, no, nope, my sides took, I don't have as much of the overhang on the front as the back. Um, so that's okay, because I'm going to drip my snow off that edge. Okay. Once it has taken hold, let's get our pieces here. We have gazebo or you know I can never remember what these things are called all right now a couple of things you can do you can paint them or we can just uh, cover the squares and that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to put this aside to dry make sure it's not in any paint and then you'll need your little window also And your squares are two by two, each one, even that one we're going to cut by two by two. So we need to cut two by two squares. And for this, I do need my saw cutter. I'm going to cut these exactly the two by two. We will do any hand cutting if needing if need be. And we need four of these. So we'll hand cut, especially our ends. to make sure I just put my barn on the wrong way and step up and down but that's that's okay let's 
again, that would be okay. making sure we're not hanging over the edges anywhere. Now this one may be just a hair smaller. Let's try it just to see. Nope. Making sure the grain is going the right way. I did get it a little off. But you know, I'm sure the farmer used extra pieces up there. <laughs> That's and I'm get once again going to cover it with snow. A lot of it. Okay, now we can do some trimming. Right here. This is what's going to actually sit down on the barn and you don't even see it. These do bend in so you can bend it back a little bit as you're cutting. I wouldn't use a razor blade on this part. I would in the window because it's a lightweight chipboard and you don't want to cut into it. Make sure everything looks good. And with my blade, we will cut our window. A little piece of acrylic if you'd like. Let me show you. See, it doesn't have to have the acrylic there. And on this, you definitely don't have to cover the inside because you won't see it. And actually, that looks the one I didn't cover the inside looks just fine, especially from a distance. Okay, we're going to attach, just like we did our barn here on this edge. And I have a piece right there that I'm just going to trim off. Not straight, of course. There we go. Okay, the cutout here is what's going to go on to the barn. And then we need this white piece. So you can go ahead and bend your pieces on those perforations. So on your half inch tab, the one reason I really like the creme color paint is because of the finish, creme coat. I mean, you'll notice that it has that nice flat finish. It doesn't have the shine or anything to it. So all your adhesives, um, work really well. Now if you happen to have anything hanging over, just go ahead and trim it. Again, this will be covered with snow. Okay, with our tabs down, because this is the bottom,
going to hold this. Okay, and you can also go underneath here. You have access to your tabs that way. Now, if I was smarter, which, you know, there's times you you must wonder. <laughs> we don't put the base on the barn. We can go upside down like this. So, um, remember, when I mentioned to Pam that I wanted for a beginner, I myself am not experienced in putting these 3D projects together. I'm learning just right along with you, but it is something I really want to do. I can actually cut chipboard and make boxes, but... Things like this and pre-cut kits are new to me, so this is one reason I really am really having fun learning this. So let's grab our barn. Now this is going to sit, and it's going to sit, okay, a little odd. You just need to find a slot for it to go into. Um, you're going to even think, gosh, this isn't going to work. It is, I promise, because the snow is what is going to cover this. So we're going to take our tabs again. Basically, we're going to worry just about those tabs, hopefully. Um, bring my scissors down. And it depends on how you ended up shaping your barn. I'll be honest with you whether they're going to work or not. So if that's not going to work for you, get your art glitter glue on those two rounded areas. And we're going to just hold it. It will, it will take. Okay, so we have to just hold this for a few minutes. And when your snow dries, it becomes very hard. So it. it it also adds, acts like an adhesive. So again, I do apologize for some of the mistakes in here. And one would be not to put the base on until the end. I don't know what I was thinking or why. Um, and also this, because we, we really needed to get our hand up into that barn. I promise future projects will be much better because I won't be doing all of them <laughs> all right once that's pretty much taken hold we have our window on I'm gonna grab the, the snow let's get our snow now there's a couple of different things you can do with your snow and one of them is popsicle sticks, a spatula. You can even use your bone folder because it will clean up. Um, you can even use a paintbrush, which I will some of the time. So I'm going to get my paintbrush. Let's get our... Um, if you have any spatulas for, you know, your medium, um, I'm just going to get out these popsicles. Let me show you what they are, actually. They are... No words to be found. Story of my life. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I have plenty of the old, my older bone folders. And this is the Aliens True Snow. When you open it, it's going to be like frosting. And it feels like marshmallow fluff. And actually, I'm going to put it right up against here. Okay. I'm going to start with our little gazebo. Because it's going to really fill that in. You can 
also use a spatula from your kitchen. But remember, this is snow. And just go around that edge as if you were doing cupcakes. Now it took one whole jar of the snow from my bar, other barn. Filling in that space there. And your spatula, I mean your bone folders, don't worry, it washes. I need to use another one to kind of scrape that over into that hole up there. And then when this takes hold, let me clean this one, it becomes hard. It becomes hard and Trust me, every, anything that's adhered to it at this point will not come undone. You can purchase this as the kit. It's $11.99 where you get the snow, the paint, the trees. But you can also purchase the snow at your local craft stores, and you can get it with glitter. So if you want more of a glittery finish. Okay, let's get that snow here on the peak. Now I'm going to keep it thick along those edges because remember it wasn't all the way down. Don't worry if the snow goes up, snow drifts. Then we can add it to the top part. And we'll just keep spreading it around. And then you can drip it off the edges. Okay. And that will stay. And it will it'll dry those peaks. And then you can just make peaks. Just like you're frosting a cake. And if you, you know, just envision snow in your mind. And the snow drifts and hanging over the edge. Once you um, have this worked, just keep it up there though. Let's go ahead and just start smearing it. Okay, now see how it will start coming off the edge? That's good. That will make your, it's kind of like icicles. I'll be honest with you, it depends on how much you're wanting to cover. This could take more than one jar. The kit does include just one jar, but you should be able to purchase it. Of course, there'll be a little bit more that's only at your Joann's, um, or you can contact me. We, we do have extra bottles that we can you can purchase. Because it just depends on how much, of, especially this, you know, I know the name of that barn part. I just am not thinking of it for some reason. So I'm just letting it drip over the edge. We're also going to be covering in the edge. Now, as that dries a little bit around there, 
I can start spreading it out. I just want to make sure the edge around there that was not attached with any adhesive is covered completely. have to have the whole barn covered on the roof. Leave some of it. Then go back in. Kind of tap it. Okay, you'll start getting some peaks. I, I don't know how well you can see that on the camera. But you can start getting it to peak up in areas. There we go. Like kind of a snow flurry. You'll get these peaks. And then keep an eye just around this area. There we go. Okay. Underneath here. So I want to get underneath this wood, or not wood, this card, this chipboard, and if there was any areas along this edge where we, where we glued, if you need to cover those up, you can get some of the snow along the edge, because the snow is also a wonderful adhesive. <laughs> You can put it along the windows, along the edges. Let's get a little more on the edge here, on the underside. Now, if you have any places as you're working, there we go. I do have a place here I need to lift up. Just add some more glitter glue to. So I'm going to hold it down here with my foam folder for just a moment. And I'm really glad Sandy Trefiger from you know, the ambassador with Graphic 45, she's also going to be creating a barn. We send it to her. She is, she's really good. And um, so I'm glad. Okay. I'm just going to now basically frost my base, get some up along the building, and I'll show you, this is where I'm going to take my paintbrush, I used the, the paintbrush before, it works really good, the angled one, there, we can get it right up against our barn. Clean up that edge. It'll clean up too. Okay, you want to make sure you have some left to adhere your trees. Okay, let's get this against our building.
and I'm just going to get this side. Move it up there, and get on the windows. Your brush will help you really get into those areas there. There we go, and kind of peek them up. Now with your your brush, I'm just going to adhere one of the trees into mine. Let me grab it. Now with the wreath, the wreath I did hot glue. I hot glued it down. And I hot glued it right here in the front. So just grab your, your snow, cover the base, kind of put a glob there, and you can add your trees, however many you like, so if you've got more than what's in the kit, and then you can go along with your snow, add some more, because once you start scraping it, you'll see there's quite a bit down there. Now, if you want to add snow to the windows, you just add some snow right on the, the frames. I apologize, I know this is kind of hard to see. Just kind of picture where snow might hit, might fall. for that. Just add your snow wherever you like. You know, just add like it dropped off the top of the barn. And I'm sorry, it's kind of hard to get the angle here. You can even get your fingers in there if it works better. And a lot of times it does. Lights off so you can clean it up as you're going. Now I'm going to just go ahead and go around the edge here. I'm going to get more so it looks like it's coming off the edge. If you get any on the paper, just go ahead and wipe that up. So hard to stay in the camera with this. And, and you just want to keep playing with it and putting snow where you want until it's gone and until you get the look that you like. Once you do get that, then you'll set it aside to dry. And it, see, it's not, this is the finished one, so this is nice and hard. And it, it's on there to stay. Yeah, I'd gotten snow on there and it wouldn't come off, so we pretended a snowball came and hit us. <laughs> so this one has the two trees here and the two trees there. And then, of course, I've got some snow on the side, so I'll go through and put snow on the sides there. And just have fun. Just play with it. Now, see, everything is nice and tight once everything is dried. And it, I know, right now, it just it looks like a big hot mess <laughs> until it dries. Once it dries, it's like, oh, okay. 
And like I said, I'm just learning this stuff and actually not totally just learning it. Well, pretty much so. Um, but I really serious. Hmm. The puppy found his way back downstairs. And he's found a box. And don't forget, snow comes on the side of buildings. Add some more snow to your trees. You can add more to the top here. Add lights to your barn. Um, you can put the other lights inside. But see, I didn't cover the inside, and I'm not unhappy at all because you can't see it. Um, you can't see the inside. I thought you would be able to more so, but you can't, so that's that's great. Now we just need to get a wet wipe, clean up our hands a little bit. And I want to thank you because I know this was a pretty rough, rough video. Um, first time I've done the chipboard on camera. My first one without the camera was a lot simpler because I didn't make the mistakes. But uh, Sandy Treffiger, Treff, Sandy, and I'm sorry if I did say your name wrong, but you are a fabulous, fabulous artist. And, well, of course, you're Graphic 45's ambassador. She will be doing a tutorial. So that will be coming around the first or so of December. And I'll put my barn now aside to dry. I have one tree, hot glue your wreath. And then if you see any little spots, you can go back through but as you can see let me get here unless you're looking in the back even then you can't really tell that it's uh not papered you definitely can't tell from the front so if you don't want to paper the inside definitely you don't have to and don't feel bad so now i have me two barns one i'm going to leave the wreath off because it's going to be my winter barn thank you everybody and i'll now work on getting everything cleaned up and i hope you enjoyed um, you're making your barn and stay tuned we have a lot of other fun projects coming your way with chipboard we will be doing the train Monica on our design team will be doing that one and we have some others in the works so thank you everybody and I hope you enjoy your barn <laughs>